Hi there, I'm Chris Bonanos from New York Magazine. We're here with Joyce Hancock in the lobby of Radio City Music Hall, a landmark in New York City. And she is going to take us backstage and show us the best of Radio City. We should start with the inspiration behind Radio City. Roxy. Roxy, yes, yes, yes. Roxy's our inspiration. When the Rockefellers decided to go into entertainment, they went to Roxy to ask his help. He was traveling home from Europe on an ocean liner, and he watched the sun set over the water and decided this was the look he wanted for Radio City. So I've heard that there's an apartment upstairs in Radio City that unless you're on the tour, you really don't get to see. Shall we go look at it? Please. This is an incredible suite of rooms. Isn't it fabulous? The Rockefellers were so pleased with the success that Roxy made of Radio City that they gave him a gift of an apartment. And if you look around the room, you'll see that many celebrities have come through the Roxy Suite. The Roxy Suite being an apartment within a theater was, and still is, an apartment of parties. Here we are in the Grand Foyer. Take a look at the carpet in this room. It depicts six renditions of musical instruments. A guitar, a banjo, a saxophone, an accordion, the clarinet, and this one is the harp. I would love to see what I hear is a secret spot to see the show. It's called the viewing booth. From this view, we're 190 feet from the great stage on the diagonal. The main body of our stage is comprised of three elevator platforms. And in the past, our stage elevators have supported a team of six elephants and even a 14,000 gallon swim tank. You really do realize how big a theater it is when you're up here. Joyce Hancock, thanks so much for showing us around. I've always wanted to see backstage at Radio City. For New York Magazine, I'm Chris Bananos on the Stage Door Tour. <laughs> <laughs>